been away for quite a while as some of you may know that I have got married and we've been um, really busy making my studio ready for open studios in my hometown. Um, I was with one of my students the other day and they asked me about how um, Disney made their animation and we were talking about 101 Dalmatians no sorry we wasn't we was talking about Lady and the Tramp and I decided to show them the old-fashioned way of how to do cells but before I actually teach my students I actually have a go myself and this is me doing Simba from The Lion King and I thought you might be interested in seeing how I do it. So first of all, I drew out just a simple line drawing um, on a piece of ordinary copy paper. It doesn't need to be anything special because at the end of the day, you could just color it in or throw it away or recycle it. I've used just ordinary acetate over the top and on the acetate that I used, there was a rough side and a smooth side and I used the rough side so that the paint would have some key. Now when you do the cells from um, any animation, you start by doing the detail first and then you apply the block colour afterwards. So where we normally as artists we do the block colours and then add the black outlines and detail afterwards. In this process we use we reverse it and um, because this is just me trying out an experiment which I thought you might like to see I had a little bit of difficulty with the paintbrushes because they were really really thick I do think if I have more time to research it you could probably use a permanent black marker which would give you much better better lines but like I say this is nothing per perfect this is just an experimental piece to show my student so we can work on it so you can see me doing the outlines of Simba's face and you start with the black lines first because they when you turn it over they will be the first things you see because once you've done the block colour you can't put the black lines on afterwards because when you turn over the acetate they won't be able to see I mean also you can once you've done the black lines you can paint and all the detail you can paint over the top which you will see so my studio is coming along really fine I will do a video of that probably in the near future it's been quite a long um, haul doing it it's made out of reclaimed timber and just in a few bits of bought timber and flooring and hopefully in the future I will be able to run classes directly from my studio but at the moment I have decided to go freelance and I travel to teach adults with anxiety stress and depression how to use art and go into the flow so that they get a respite from everyday stresses and strains and a tool to combat anxiety and just to give the mind a bit of a break I, I think art is really um, such a wonderful gift to have and any form of the arts when you are given that gift it, to some extent you can actually use that to give yourself a mini holiday away from the stresses and strains and when you're in the flow you know it's like suddenly you, you you sit down to draw and before you know it hours have gone and it just seems like seconds and many of us that are lucky enough to be in that flow moment know what a wonderful gift it is and also you have the sense of achievement afterwards now you can see going back 
to the plate you can see that I've added the white highlights and now I'm adding the brown to the iris of the eye and this is quite a fun process because I did think about how I was going to do it but actually in theory I'd never done it before so for me <laughs> I'm an absolute virgin I've never done this before <laughs> Sorry if you can hear any scrunching sounds in the background, but my dogs decided that now I'm doing a voiceover, it'd be a good idea to bring their dinners in and eat them. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, what I did do um, in between the colours is I did use a heat gun and did dry it off. Um, don't. Um, have the heat gun too close to the paint because I did find myself that it actually um, did make the acrylics bubble. I did use acrylic and not oils or watercolours because the acrylics are plastic and they will adhere to the key on the rough surface of the acetate. So anyway, as I was saying, um, I decided to leave the teaching profession, um, working in schools and uni, to actually work on my own. And so I am really enjoying this freelance work. It is really interesting. I get to see a diverse group of people and children because I do teach children of all ages, plus with special needs and or homeschooled. And I must admit, I've been doing this for a while since my dad died um, because I did change my job when my dad became really ill and I decided after the interview that I really, it wasn't really where I wanted to go. Um, this was an opportunity for me to actually persevere with something that I would like to do myself and I am a teacher what I would say what we say in the UK is a chalk face teacher which means that I enjoy interacting with students and making sure that they learn something in a fun and interesting way rather than just ticking boxes and so this gave me an opportunity to, <laughs> for want of a better word, tick some boxes where I could enjoy teaching, enjoy people learning or learning a new skill to overcome an anxiety, plus also learning the vocabulary and really understanding what they were learning rather than just an hour of the teacher just ticking boxes and I, and I love it when I go back at the end of the, the next week and they've remembered what I've taught and they're quite excited about what they have learned and one of the um, lessons on a Friday before I left work for the weekend was I left this two little charming little boys that I teach on a Friday and we were making cardboard dragons which I thoroughly enjoyed because one of the things I enjoy about this job is that I can actually design and make the 3D and 2D and we made these dragons and I asked the mum as it came to the end of the session had they ever heard of Puff the Magic Dragon and they said no so the mum went and googled it and as I stepped away and quietly left the garden all three of them were busily engrossed into listening to the song Pub the Magic Dragon while they were finishing off making these dragons and to me that is absolutely priceless. To me that is more than money can buy to see three people engrossed in what they were doing, listening to music and you know just totally totally in the the flow moment and really happy what more could a person ask for from a job so yes yeah, so at the moment 
I'm enjoying my new career, a new change of career and a new career. And hopefully now I'm settling down a bit more with my dad and getting married and having a studio, I will be able to dedicate some more time to YouTube. Because I, I really do miss, you know, in, interacting with you and, you know, the comments that you leave me. I really enjoy it. You know doing that and you know you, you are a great bunch of followers as you can see I am now I'm drying it and you can turn it over whoa and there he is hello Simba <laughs> there he is but one of the fun things you can do this with this once you've created it if you've got any children um, is you can actually photograph different backgrounds hello Simba and it, it is just a, a fun thing to show the children how animation used to do. And I've just got a book out and I'm just showing you how they do the overlay. So if you've liked this video from me and Simba, we would love it if you would like. Thumbs up, comment and most of all, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. It's sorry he's upside down. That's me mucking about. <laughs> I will put that right. Okay. Take care everybody and see you soon. Bye bye.